Hey everyone, so a few days ago I did an oil change on the Raptor and I wanted to open up the filter that was on the truck and see both how it was constructed and how well it held up. Now the filter itself only has about 3,000 miles on it since I did the last oil change. Now this is the factory recommended filter for the truck. It's the Motorcraft FL500S filter. I believe that the Motorcraft filters are made by Purolator. So I'm expecting this to be a pretty well constructed filter. The Motorcraft ones from what I've seen overall are a pretty well built filter. Not necessarily the best on the market, but definitely good for most people for just using their cars for daily usage, commuting, things like that. It's not as heavy as a race filter would be, but for most people, they don't need something with that high level of capability. So I use my air chisel to take this thing apart. Uh, first thing I noticed when I took the cap off is this cap is actually very heavy. I'm really impressed with how much metal holds the base of this together. It looks like there's two pieces of metal. I mean, obviously they're, you can see the seam here where they're crimped together, but if you look at where these holes are punched in on the top, you can see where they are folded over on the bottom side. And this is essentially a double thick piece of metal. And then the O-ring on the top just looks like a pretty standard O-ring for the most part. It looks pretty well constructed, but this is definitely a pretty heavy piece. So that's pretty good. You also have a silicone anti drain back valve that's nice these are definitely better than the rubber equivalents these are a little bit better for more extreme temperatures especially in the cold so that's definitely good and then as far as the actual filter media itself this was one of the first things that impressed me most just looking there's a lot of pleating on this filter i didn't rip it all the way apart and measure it but uh, this appears to be a pretty good amount of pleating on this. And then one of the first things you notice is that the caps are metal on both ends. So this is a very nice constructed filter. And when I was looking at it, I wanted to get closer. So I broke the top of it off. And one thing you'll notice is the inner core is all steel. That's actually pretty impressive for a filter like this. This is really not an expensive filter, but this doesn't see anywhere near the amount of oil pressure that something like my GT350R does that regularly sees oil pressure over 100 PSI during normal operation. This having 530 oil in it, it doesn't see crazy pressure spikes and crazy amounts of running pressure. But the fact that they built this thing to have a steel core on the inside, I'm really impressed. This, this is It's fairly heavy. There looks to be a lot of pleating and the reinforcement is pretty darn good. I'm overall very impressed with this filter. Now the Motorcraft filters, most of them, this one included, are a blend of cellulose and polyester. So this is rated for an 80% efficiency of up to 20 microns. So again, not the best filter, but for your average person, you know, just using their car for daily driving, commuting, things like that, I think that this is more than an adequate filter. So overall, so far, I'm overall impressed. And then at the very bottom, you have a uh, basically a leaf spring style spring for. So not a uh, coil spring. I know a lot of people prefer the coil springs. I don't really know if there's a major advantage to a coil spring over these leaf spring styles, but if it works, it works. And then the actual case itself, uh, obviously it's all metal, fairly thick. I mean, it feels pretty strong. I mean, if I really squeeze hard, I can probably crush it, but for the most part, it looks to, to be pretty sturdy. I mean, I can put a fair amount of pressure on this thing and it springs back. So uh, overall, a pretty good construction. I'm overall impressed with this filter. I know a lot of people don't like OE filters. They kind of criticize them and usually go for aftermarket stuff. But for an OE filter, I think the overall build construction of this filter is pretty good for what most people are going to need, especially if you consider this is a readily available filter. You can get it almost anywhere. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at pretty much any auto parts store. And it's not expensive. This is not like some $15, $20 filter. I think the average price for one of these filters is roughly 6 or $7. So for a 6 $7 factory filter, overall, I think the construction is very good. I think this is going to exceed the needs of the overwhelming majority of people that are going to need this. And this is going to fit not only all the EcoBoost Raptors, but it's going to fit a lot of other Ford vehicles as well. So now overall, I am pretty impressed with the construction of the way this filter is put together. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.